Ryan, how much uh, of a sense of pride is is it to be part of that penalty kill? Like you guys seem to all really dig in, and it's become quite a thing for you. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of us who uh, who are on it, um, we take a lot of pride in it. Obviously, it's a big part of uh, I think our, our team is doing our success, and I think it's something we can hang our hats on. You know, if we're not getting points or, or scoring goals, I think it's uh, you know something we could kind of look back and be like, hey, we were we were a part of this game. You know, we uh, we helped out in a big way. How do you make sure that? you guys actually dictate a little bit tonight because, I mean, conventional wisdom would be they're faced with going down 2 nothing. Maybe they'll be more desperate. But is there a way for you guys to, to grab it early? For sure. Um, I think we're a very desperate group also. Um, you know, we, we know what's at stake. Uh, I think we kind of just got to go in thinking, you know, series tied and, and we're, you know, we're looking at the advantage. And, um, you know, I think there's going to be no sitting back from our group. So, uh, you know, I think we're all very excited. Center right, Ryan. Hey, Ryan, first of all, great name. Second, staying with the penalty kill, how do you describe the way you've all been able to find success with Chris in such a short amount of time? Because usually units that are doing what you're doing, they've had years within the same structure. You've had months, and yet you're 20 for 20. So how do you explain it? Um, I think it's just a lot of a confidence. Uh, you know, we've been kind of tweaking with it all year, and we found something that's been working. So, um, just, yeah, confidence, and, and, you know, everyone's been in the right spots and, and being, being aggressive, and it's been working. So... You know, we're just going to keep riding with it. Front left, Derek. Hey, Ryan. Um, I wanted to ask you about Leon Dreisaitl. We get to watch him all the time, and it, it looks like he just elevates his game in the playoffs. What do you see different from him in the playoffs that maybe in the regular season? Uh, yeah, I mean, he does so many good things. Uh, so fun to watch. I think just he plays such a physical, physical game with the puck. He, you know, he takes so many hits. He uh, protects the puck so well. He drives the line. Um, I don't know. It's it's tough to kind of pinpoint one or two things. He does everything so well, and he he does you know for so long. So, um, just you know, really fun to watch. Center right, Daniel. You kill off three penalties in in regulation, but then you get to overtime, and there's the four minute. Can you describe what that was like? And I mean, knowing that the game's on the line, and, and having to do it for an extra two. Uh, yeah, I think you kind of just go with the same confidence. I think you know you get the first whatever two or three it was, and you kind of build a little confidence. You kind of see what they're doing, and then. You know, just uh, rely on you know what's got you there and, and what you've been doing so far, and um, you know, just go out and, and and you know work your hardest and, and hoping get it done. A lot of talk going into the series about how much better, how much more confident you guys were compared to the Colorado series a couple of years ago. How about yourself personally? How you know getting some playoff reps over the last few years? How, how do you feel going into the series? Yeah, you know, you kind of go in ups and flows, uh, but yeah, definitely more experienced. Uh, you know, the group's been through this before. Um, I think we. Kind of go back to last year, you know, game six against, you know, Vegas. They uh, took us down and we were you know, kind of just sit with that all summer. And then, you know, this year we go into Vancouver and we, you know, win two big games. And, um, yeah, just kind of the experience you get through the years, you, you kind of just learn to, you know, be a little more calm in those tough situations. And, um, you know, hopefully that, uh, that confidence and, and calm could uh, push you through. Go back to Rich. One fastball for you. Yeah. Um, obviously producing is something that you want to do and that I know your line wants to do. How close do you think you guys are to breaking through, and what can you do to try and find that extra little bit of difference to be finishing? Yeah, uh, totally. Um, I just kind of get into those hard areas. You see a lot of the goals that are going in, you know, now in the playoffs. It's, you know, all around, all around the net, lots of tips, lots of screens. Uh, and I think if we're getting to those areas more and we're putting pucks to the areas um, and pucks to the front of the net, it's going to, you know, hopefully go in for you. So I think just kind of doing those little things and, and doing them repeatedly and, and – uh, you know, bound to go in at some point. Go back to Ryan. Going back to last year, that series with Vegas, what would you say is the one thing you guys have maybe done better now that all of you in the room see it and say this clicks that the rest of the world may not notice and you look at it and say, yeah, this is the difference? Um, I think just kind of going through the ups and flows of the game, you know, there's going to be lots of ups and downs. I think just managing the downs as best as we can. Um, you know, they're going to have push. They're going to, you know, get a goal. And, I think minimizing it to, you know, maybe if we get a goal, we'll get one goal, not, not two or three. And, um, you know, if we're having a push, maybe just don't want to score or just, you know, bend, don't break kind of thing. So um, just little things like that, uh, you know, not getting too high, too low. And I think it's kind of what we took away the best.